Oh my god! Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today I'm bringing you a new product, at least a new product to me. Um, I've seen them on YouTube, I've never had the chance to test one, but the guys over at Deeper Sonar sent me this cool little sonar that's portable, you can attach it to any fishing rod, take it anywhere via kayak, boat, shore, and what it does is it shows you the mark, fish marks, the depth, um, vegetation, the app is pretty cool as well. It actually goes in depth with the weather, all kinds of different things. So I wanna break it down, show you how to use it real quick, and hopefully it's gonna help us today, me and Tom that is, catch some big old bass. Stay tuned. Let me show you what it looks like. Coming straight out of the box, guys. It's very compact. This is the Sonar, and this is the Pro Plus, just so you know. Uh, it comes out in the box just like that. It's no bigger than a tennis ball and you attach your line to this little uh, hook here and you actually have different spots that you can attach the hook to which apply to different applications such as boat fishing, shore fishing, etc. So let's hook this baby up and see what we can find or see on the app. So you can see here that we have it to where we can actually read the depth, the water temperature. This shows you your battery life here. And there's a couple different settings. Um, you can actually, over here, click this little button here. And you have a choice between a basic and a detailed scope. Look at all these fish we just ran up on. Holy smokes. Um, but you can also change the frequency to a 90 or to a 290 and you can change the sensitivity here to where it picks up less or more. Now the thing is, if it, you know if you don't want a whole lot of clutter on the screen, then you would want to turn that down. You can also dis uh, disable the audio here, so that way you don't have to listen to the constant beep. I know that that can, can get kind of annoying. But overall, I'm impressed with this, and the reason I think there it could be a great use for this product is first off, it's extremely portable so you could take it anywhere you can use it uh, you throw it in any box and it's very very simple to use you literally I mean it won't read until it hits the water so you got to throw it in the water and turn the app on and once you do that it activates and then you'll start it'll start reading the bottom here just like it's doing now you can see it's kind of in a slow drift right now and there's some features up here at the top that you definitely want to check out. And this is neat. It'll actually pull weather from your exact zip code. Shows you your high, your low, wind, humidity, sunrise, sunset, of course your you know, moon phases, pressure. All the things that are critical that you should be checking before you go fishing. And in some cases, while you're fishing. You also have a uh, maps button here. so. Like if you want to chart, tag where you're at, you can do that. There's a history button. Shows your recordings. Um, and that way you can go back and take a look. Maybe you're, you know, you're really wanting to familiarize yourself with a specific lake or pond. This will allow you to go back and, and take a look at uh, you know, the different areas that you're going over. So that's pretty neat. But overall, you can see how, you know, it's definitely um, reading the bottom. The green is the vegetation. You'll see the orange is that hard bottom. And uh, the fish, if you don't like the fish icons, you could turn the fish icons off by just check checking here. And then you should see little arches uh, take the place of the fish. Just kind of like on your Garmin or Lowrance Hummingbird. So it's not different in that sense. But from what I found is it's pretty dang sensitive, guys, and it's pretty accurate, which is awesome. So now you can see we're back in eight feet of water. Let's see what these new readings look like here. I turn the fish icon off. Let's engage our noise or sound. 
But for example, say you know you're fishing a pond or a lake, and you know you really want to know. So you could barely see it here. Let me turn up the sensitivity. That's a little too much. But say you want to really know the depths, and the depth is important. You know, find to find ledges and things like that. It's super critical that you know you know the, those things. And this little device can help you find those things. Um, and they're fairly affordable, guys. A lot more so than some of them expensive Lorances and things. And you're going to see... Uh, you're going to see here in this video with me and Tom how we added it with the arm to the John boat. And it worked flawlessly. I was actually super, super impressed. I thought it would have been a hassle. I thought it was going to fall off. I thought, it was, you know, I didn't think it was going to work as smoothly as it did. So, very impressed. And you're going to see how it helps us locate these fish. And and what we decided to do, since we were seeing a lot of these fish on the bottom, or hang closer to the bottom, we decided to crankbait, throw these crankbaits for them. So, you're going to need that uh, net up on your side. No, 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 no. You know that's not happening. <laughs> you, you, hey, as long as I'm, we're netting something, I don't care. Yeah. I told you earlier, I can't be letting you catch them all every time. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's not, what kind of hospitality? I thought we were in the south. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nope. There ain't that kind of hospitality, my friend. Damn it, man. I only bring you to net my fish and take my picture. Yeah, and it never ends up working out that way, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yet to have that happen. Dude, that was a freaking epic trip that last that last trip, bro. I know you loved it. That back to back hook. Dude, I thought it was two Mogans. Alright guys. So I got the deeper sonar all hooked up right here. Let me um I mean she is running right in the water over here Tom's a crazy driver so oh yeah we're picking up bottom so Tom's got us strolling along here it's reading the bottom it's picking up fish oh yeah we got some marks right under us Oh, there we go. There's some fish, and we got some nice vegetation. There's some bass right under us. This is 17.8 uh, feet. They were right on the bottom, too. So, check out that little clamp system here, guys. For you kayakers, John boaters, that's pretty amazing. Give you water temp? Water temp is 91 degrees. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, dude, it gives you the weather. It gives you everything, brother. Look at this guy. He's all, he's already getting on him, guys. He he ain't playing. Oh, I forgot my worms. Oh, don't worry. We'll just bum some off the top. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get to fishing, guys. This thing is awesome, though. They hit them peanut butter and jelly, I heard. But I just heard it through the grapevine. Yeah, I mean, you got some, bro? <laughs> Hook me up. Who would have told you that? I don't know. This <laughs> this redhead guy out there. He said he's been fishing out here a lot. I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was trying to copy my techniques. <laughs> all right. Thomas hooked up, guys. Oh, you sure are tall? Because he's looking a little bigger than I think you originally thought, my man. Um, it's hooked. Oh, he's healthy. Seven pounder. He might be a seven yeah, pounder. As much as he's. Oh, yeah. Good fish. I think he actually hooked him. Yeah, he shook the little hay shake. Oh, decent fish, boys. <laughs> nice bad. work. Break the ice nice, with the baddies. Nice work. Nice. Oh, man. He's probably five, six. Yeah, he's good fish. Usually when they fight like that, that's a decent fish. That's how you guys do it with that deeper sonar. With the deeper sonar, hang on, let's let's snap it's a, a little healthy fish. Let's snap a little shot of you here. Oh. Get a picture. Sweet. Hey, nice for you to stop by. See ya.
Oh, my new little revival. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's the first decent fish we caught over here since I've been with you, though. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my god! Get in there! Get in there! Guys! Holy cow! Holy cow! Drag is being loosened. That <laughs> is a mug! Oh my god! Look at it! On the big... Oh! The new on the nice new St. Croix glass! Oh, look at this! Good fish. Oh my gosh! We got color. Oh. It's coming up. Oh my god. Oh god, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh. Legend. She ain't pulling a whole lot. She's under the boat. Give me a chance. Oh. Oh god, she's pulling drag. Knees are rocking, guys. Tom likes these big bass. Are you think it's a bigger? No. It's not bigger? No, it's not Are you sure? Oh, you got a scale? <laughs> yeah. That's a good fish, dude. That is a, I that saw might, the mouth, that bro. Might go 10. I think it's a 10. <laughs> oh, be careful, don't hook her in the eye. There. Do not touch anything. Oh what my gosh, dude. Buddy. That's a good fish, buddy. He's probably eight or nine now that you're mentioning it. Good fish, Captain Josh Taylor. Deeper sonar. Like, I didn't want to say another 10 pounder because I know how <laughs> offensive that is to you. It's very offensive, by the way. Oh, look at that. Ah, <laughs> you sit still, boy. Yeah. Oh, he was foul hook, guys. Cut me a break. I can't even tell you how bad he's hating. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, 13, 13 feet. Fish at 10. See the water temperature at 86 degrees. And uh, it's about 18 feet here. Check out the vegetation on the bottom there. There's a drastic uh, change in depth there. It went down up to 13 feet, 12 feet. There's a fish right under us, too. He's showing all kinds of 
found a fish right here. I'm just hooked up. Oh, it is a it is a good fish. Oh, pull the line. Man, I, I knew we should have been over here. Oh, I don't know how I'm smoking. Kids don't you smoke. Don't smoke, kids. That that might be a money fish right there. Huh? That might be a money fish, Tom. Huh? I should have. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. I'm paying attention fish. to the camera. Oh my. Oh, that's a that's an eight nine pound fish, brother. Yeah, that's a good fish. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Good job, brother. So you got the nice, the, the, one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, Tom's on him. He's Big got fish. He is on him right now. Yeah, this one definitely, I could tell right off the bat, wasn't it? wasn't what we just got It wasn't that moga. Oh, that's a small dink of the day there. Dinky dinks. Hey, you got to catch the little guys with the big guys. Oh, I see that now, Tom. <laughs> he won. That's going to be an epic jump. Dude, they are, you need to help with them? Better, definitely worry about, better worry about that. Hooked up. Tom was not joking. They are sitting over in this pocket. Not a mos monster. There he goes. They are sit dude, they are stacked right there. Like no joke. A little, little dink. I mean he's healthy fish, I ain't wrong, but he ain't an eight pounder. Yeah, he might. Ooh, ooh. Putting that St. Croix to the test. Putting it to the test. Oh, you got him like around I think he is when he just jumped. Oh, Tom is hooked up. Are you kidding, Tom? Tom. <laughs> Woo, broke you. Took your freaking load. No. Well, I had the hook, and I'm like, oh, I got it. He's hooked up. Tom is on fire right now. There are so many bass sitting on that bank, guys, right now. Ah, oh, you come back. You come back. You should have just left when you had a chance, buddy. Do your thing. Do your thing. Now we must be on a school of them. Just better not get caught with that thing. Nice work, dude. Nice work. That's what it's all about, guys. That's why you fish. Mother Nature. Crazy fish stories. We are on top of a school of them right here. I can't even tell you. Tom's hooked, what, three or four right here? I hooked 18. One. 
There he is, right there. He about to jump. Oh, another healthy fish, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my gosh, what a splash. Oh. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I don't want to lose this lure. It's the last one. Oh my gosh, these little bass fight so hard. It's not always. It's a little bit different now that water temperatures. Hot. They got some energy to them. They got a little more, uh, a little more Tom's hooked up. You just take them all day, man. Every cast, guys. Every cast. Are you kidding me? This is what we've been waiting on. The feeding hour. There he goes. Nice job, Tom. Oh, right at the boat, guys. Right at the boat. Little bit of ding. Oh, look at his mouth, bro. What the heck? Like his nose. That is what you don't want. Dude, how is he even living? I feel bad for this guy. It's like mouth is like he's been chewed on? I don't know, bro. They don't look healthy, dude. Dude, these hooks, guys. This is why it's so critical to change your hooks. Look at that one. Just broke off. Buddy Tom here turned me on to them elite triple grips. And uh, I just lost my one plug, and uh, I need to change these out ASAP. All right, me or Tom, which one's it going to be? Here we go, side by side, right as the action's hot. That's what you're for all day. Oh, he caught him. He's hooked. Come on. Oh, no, he came off. I might have yanked it. I might have prematurely messed that one up. They're following it all the way to the boat. There he is. Came back for it again. Oh, he's on there this time. Not a Morgan. Uh, he's another. Little guy. Look at this little bitty bot. What is that? That's the future right there. Try not to get him where this thing ain't gonna tear him up. Found the school. Found the schoolies. 95% of the water, or 95% of the fish live in the water. That is coming through right now. Dude, they're just, they have stacked over here, dude. Look at them. They're schooling right there. Oh, he came off. There's another thing.
You hooked up? Nice. Tom's hooked up, guys. Better? All right, guys. That's what I got. Fatty. Tom got his. There he goes. Battery's dying, guys. And we're just laying into them right now. Fish looks kind of rough. <laughs>